Hello everyone. Today we will be trying on four different transparent turtlenecks. One of these is already on me. We'll try on each of them. I'll tell you about them. Let's see how they will look on me with a top and without a top. And the first turtleneck is with these cuffs. I really like things like that on things in principle. Turtlenecks on a hoodie because I don't know why I just like it. It's a transparent turtleneck. There's an inscription all over the fabric. I hate it. Okay. But it's also made of such a rural fabric. I like the way it fits me. It's true to size and I don't see any sticking threads. There are no holes anywhere. It's very good. It means it's well sewn. You can tuck it into your jeans like this. You can leave it just hanging out. But I like the tucked in options better. So I'll return it as it was. It's quite transparent. That is, if you wear it with some kind of top, nothing will be visible. But if it's I don't know, well, if for example it's without a bra or top, then it's very see-through. That's the only thing you need to take into account. But no, in principle, it's very well stitched. Also, all the inscriptions are so velvety. It's like they were glued on, I don't know. And not a single letter of them comes off. Or one letter doesn't come off. It sticks very well to the fabric. Overall, I really like it. I guess I would go like this to some party. Or maybe, I don't know, to a club somewhere. Or just if with my friends at home, if it's some kind of themed party, especially since these suited us well. This is the size S, in my opinion if I'm not mistaken, but if I can look, so the seams are very even everywhere. Also the cuff itself, this one, here is such a straight stitched hole. Well, in general, I really like it. The turtleneck's attention to detail is evident in its well executed seams and thoughtful construction. The transparency is tastefully balanced, avoiding any overtness and maintaining an air of sophistication. The elongated neckline adds a touch of refinement, framing the face elegantly. It's a garment that seamlessly transitions from day to night, embodying versatility that aligns with modern fashion demands. In terms of care, the turtleneck has proven to be resilient to both washing and wear, the transparency is maintained, and the fabric retains its shape, ensuring a lasting investment in one's wardrobe. In conclusion, the black transparent turtleneck is a fashion-forward piece that strikes a balance between contemporary chic and timeless sophistication. Its versatility, quality craftsmanship, and subtle sensuality make it a standout addition to any fashion enthusiast collection. By the way, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. Now I've already changed into the next turtleneck. It's already without cuffs, just like an ordinary turtleneck. It's also completely transparent, and I really like its dark burgundy color. Because for me, in general, burgundy is such a universal color in terms of dark colored clothes. And since I mostly wear dark colors, red burgundy always goes together very nicely. The turtleneck is just an ordinary one. It's just such a nice color. Again, I really like it. The only thing that I would probably take a larger size maybe because the sleeves don't seem to reach if it were something like this. I think it would look somehow better. But if I move my hands, they rise up like this so they ride up themselves. It's not scary, nevertheless. It would be better if they were long. And here there is a small, very small, let's say neckline. It's stitched like this. It happens even straight up, for example. This one didn't have any throat at all. Only in the sense that the nose was cut out. Here there's just such a little thing like this. What else would I probably wear such a turtleneck under some kind of dark skirt? It would probably also be some kind of dark tights, perhaps nylon black transparent ones, and some kind of heels, maybe to go somewhere, again to a party, in general, all these shirts, but I wouldn't wear in. Everyday life, for example, some then, in the office I would wear such things to some thematic events or somewhere with friends, for example to a bar or club or somewhere else, I really like how who sits on me, it doesn't press anywhere, absolutely doesn't restrict movement. But in any such transparent turtleneck, it gets very hot over time because despite the fact that they seem to be very thin and mesh, for some reason the fabric does not breathe at all, and over time it becomes very hot in them. There are small shoals, for example. Here I see threads sticking out, but this is generally very easy to fix, so I don't know more. There's basically nothing to complain about here. Paired with high-waisted jeans, it exudes a playful and contemporary vibe, while coupling it with a tailored skirt or trousers elevates it to a chic and fashion-forward ensemble. While the boldness of the red hue may limit its readability in certain professional settings, it undoubtedly shines as a statement piece for social events, parties, or fashion-forward gatherings. Its ability to seamlessly transition from day to night ensures a dynamic and adaptable fashion choice. What do you think about this image? So I've already changed into the third turtleneck, Wow, it's probably a little small for me, because it was very difficult for me to get dressed. And well, 
Maybe it's because of the fabric, because it doesn't stretch at all. You can see here there are some threads sticking out, but it's basically not scary. But there's one here. I don't remember what is this word called in general. And the gathering, here it is. And it kind of gathers like these folds along the sleeves all over the body as a whole. But nevertheless, I like the way it looks, although it's actually incredibly uncomfortable in it. I wouldn't be able to walk in such a turtleneck for a long time because it has a rather coarse mesh and maybe it's because of the assembly itself. I'm also very hot, and so it has a rather rough fabric, which you can really feel that it scratches the skin somehow unpleasantly, but in such a turtleneck you can wear it, it seems to me, for example, on Halloween in some kind of long gothic skirt, and perhaps there will be some kind of cape on top, in which case it's, it will look very beautiful. In general, I like it. The only thing is that, again, it has a rather blue fabric and the threads are sticking out, although this can also be corrected. Just for this turtleneck, I would add some kind of lace here. Maybe not lace, but the word is called, well, okay, so that it's kind of narrow here. It hangs down on the wrist and on the arm itself. The top is quite short, that is, it just barely. It also still rises, so I fasten it with a button. In general, it looks very good. I like it, but then again, I was wearing a turtleneck like this. I wouldn't be able to pass through. And also here is this cutout. There are two options. For example, you can bare your shoulders a little and you can lift it up completely, so probably yes. You can fully understand when it will be here because of the fact that there will be an inspector of such a cutout next already shoulders, and now we move on to the last final shirt. The styling possibilities for this black transparent off-shoulder sweater are abundant. In terms of care, the sweater requires delicate handling due to its transparent nature. Its bold design, coupled with classic color and versatile styling options, makes it a standout addition to any fashion-forward individual's wardrobe, perfect for those who want to make a statement with a touch of allure. So I changed into the last shirt, and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel, put notifications, write in the comments which of these shirts you like best. So this is such a gray shirt, and it has a thread sticking out okay, and the sleeves are called flashlights, if I'm not mistaken. They are loaded on the wrists, and here they look very airy, very it's easy. I really like this version of the shirt. It's dark, it's dark gray, it's completely buttoned up, and there's also a collar. You can button it up again. I won't do it well. But in principle, with such a shirt, let's say, you can play a little with the way you wear it. You can wear it in this version, loose, or you can tuck it in, for example, jeans or in a glass, and it will look like this. Such light things, although I wouldn't be able to walk, for example, on the street or somewhere else, Perhaps, although again, if it's some kind of don't care, for example, black, completely closed from here to the collarbones, then why not for especially in the summer? This option is very successful because in the summer it's very hot and it's really super light, super airy. It also has sleeves that are pulled down. If on regular shirts they are about here, then in this option the seam goes very low. I love the sleeves that they have on shirts, which are on t-shirts on other other things. So I also think you can try tying it. I, I don't know how it will look. Now I found out if, for example, tie it in some way in this way. It also has a place to be, but I really like it. So I returned it to its original form. I'll just unravel it. This is how it looks. The collar is not very big. In general, it looks good. I don't think it goes well with these jeans. The gray color palette lends versatility to the shirt, making it a versatile piece for various occasions. It serves as an excellent canvas for both casual and more formal looks seamlessly pairing with a range of bottoms, from jeans for a relaxed vibe to tailored trousers for a polished appearance. In terms of care, the shirt requires a delicate touch. Hand washing or a gentle machine cycle is recommended to preserve the shimmering quality, and avoiding abrasive surfaces during wear prevents potential snags. With proper care, this shirt maintains its unique charm and continues to be a go-to piece for those seeking an understated yet glamorous wardrobe staple and now we'll see how it will look no topic. I have my last final shirt. I really like it because it suits me very well and the fabric is quite pleasant to the body, but I liked other shirts more than this one. And this is where my fitting of shirts ends. We tried on four options. Write which one you liked more, which one less, which one you would wear. That's all for now, bye bye.